Okay, so let's do a 95% confidence interval for a difference in proportions. Okay, what do we do for that? Let's see. Well, the proportions were the proportions, well, the proportion of red cars, red, was 64% of them were speeding, and the proportion for other colored cars was 0.1. Three, seven. So first thing we do is we subtract these two. It's a difference of proportions. And we get that. Now what do we need? Plus or minus, and there's going to be a z-score in there, right? So we're z for 95% confidence interval. Well, if you remember, let's see. 95%, ignore that dog, idiot dog, um, 95%, right, so how far up are we, well, we got 2.5% on either side, 2.5%, right, and we go all the way up, so that would be 97, we want this value right there, how far up do we go, how many standard deviations is that up there, because that's what normal CDF tells us. So we have to do inverse norm of 0.975. Inverse norm. That gives us that critical value. So that inverse norm of 0.975 gives us 1.96. Okay. Because we want to figure out from here to here. The middle number would be when we subtract these two over here, like that. So anyway, now what about the standard deviation? Well, this is a confidence interval. We do not do the combined proportion for this one. The only time we do the combined stuff is for a significance test. Everything else is just regular. And by regular, I mean this. There, this one, right? So the two proportions, the sample size, the other two proportions, you know, proportion, proportion minus one, sample size, the other proportion, that proportion minus one, sample size, blah, 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 here's our, oh, I wrote it, God, I always do that, I have, I have like number dyslexia, I reverse the numbers, so it's uh, 0.037, like that, okay, so, if we subtract those two up here, like this, so what I'm going to do is subtract these two, and I get 0.27. So this is 0.27 plus or minus 1.96, and multiply that by the standard deviation, and do two problems, right? Plus and minus, and what do you get? So multiply these, add it to this number, take that same number, subtract it from that number. What is our interval? And you should come up with 0 0.08 on the low side and 0 0.46 on the high side. That's our interval. So what we should expect is that the difference in proportions should be somewhere between these two numbers, right? We're 95% confident that the, two di the true difference in proportions of speeding red cars and other cars is somewhere between 8% and 46%. Notice, zero is not in that interval. That supports our argument that we would reject the null hypothesis. If zero was in there, there is a possibility that the difference in proportions would be zero, meaning the cars speed at the you know, same proportion of red cars and other cars are speeding. Okay, so again, that was a little bit convoluted, but what we're saying is the fact that zero is not in there supports our argument to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, and that's why we do a confidence interval, just more, more evidence against that. Okay, there you go.